Welcome back to our SketchUp for Schools tutorial series. We're taking a look at our salt box house still. Um, and in this episode, we're going to take a look at the front, um, our front of our house and create our openings for our windows. In this particular house, we have nine windows, uh, four on the left, four on the right, and one here in the center. Remember with the salt box style of architecture, it is very symmetric. And so whatever, however we set the windows on the left has to mirror what's on the right. On this, I have, um, I have already gone ahead and um, figured out where the windows need to go. Um, but we need to get inside of the house, um, especially whenever we're starting to build the windows um, in the pre in a, in a next episode. And in order to do that, we're going to use what's called section planes. So if we go over here to our tape measure, um, and you go over here to what's called a section plane tool. If we click on that, it comes up with this rectangle or the square. As you hover over different areas of our house, it's going to change color depending on what axis that plane is rotating around. So right now it's flat on the ground, so it's rotating around this blue axis. Here it's rotating around the red axis here. And then if we go to the back, it's rotating around the green axis. Uh, any other color, whether it's pink or black or something else, um, that just signifies that it is going around some other face and it's not going around an axis, okay? Um, so for us, we want to cut this house in half so that we have access to the back wall of the front. So we wanna go here on mine, it's gonna be the green axis. If you have this house rotated, it may be red axis for you. So I'm gonna click once that sets our section plane. I'm going to just click on the section plane to make sure that it's selected. I'm gonna click on the move tool and then I'm gonna click and move this up towards the front. Next, I'm going to go over here to our display panel and we have two different um, toggles for our section planes. We have section planes and then the section cuts. If we toggle off the section planes, that's gonna hide the actual plane itself. It keeps the cut, but it hides the plane. If we toggle the other one, it turns off that cut. Um, so you can actually have in here, um, you can have multiple different cuts and this is a way you can toggle those on and off. So I'm gonna turn the cut back on. I'm gonna leave the section plane off for now. And then I'm going to go to the front of my house and get inside my wall. So as you see, if I hover over the front of my house, um, everything is blue so that I am outside of that group or component. I want to right click and edit group. I'm still outside of my component because I have this in several groups and components in several layers. So I'm going to right click again and edit component. And now if I hover over these, now it's speckled. So now I know that I am inside that wall group or wall component. And that is very, very important. Any kind of issues you're gonna have, it's because of that. You'll also see that everything kind of turns green. Um, that is a setting that you can change. Um, there's various different things you can do. One is to kind of turn everything kind of green that is outside of your group. So everything that is white right here is inside my wall group or wall component or wall group. Um, there's also settings where you can actually hide everything else. So if I wanted to hide everything but the group or component that I was in, I could also do that. Um, I tend to just leave everything green um, f for me. Um, but if you're working inside of a house or something like that, it may be beneficial to just hide everything. Um, so it, it's kind of really depends on you and what you want to do. So let's go ahead and take my tape measure. And I have various measurements that we're going to uh, type in um, to kind of save time. And so from the right, we're going to type in, or from the left here, we're going to type in three feet, three apostrophe. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make another one. So from the left, go over, type in six apostrophe. Going to go again, type in eight apostrophe nine, so eight foot nine. And we're going to do one more 
This one's going to be 11 apostrophe 9. Overall, the these windows are three feet across, uh, and we have a two foot nine gap in between. If we and then once we make the make the windows, you'll see that it's spaced out evenly in here in our um, in our bedroom here. On this side, um, I have um, if you haven't already done so in a previous episode, I did put um, this little spacer here. Um, this is the same as this one over here. So from our door, I went and this wall was three foot eleven. So if you haven't already done so, go from this doorway over to three foot eleven, and then I just create a a four inch wall there um, so that way this measurement here is going to be the same as this measurement here so that's one thing that you that you should do um, if you haven't already done so next one thing it, for windows is that they are all they always line or most of the time they'll always line up with the top of the door so Whenever you have a door measurement of that's um, four foot tall by two feet wide, you don't need to know how far it's off the ground because most of the time, by default, it's going to line up with the front of or top of our door, which in this case is six foot eight. We're then going to go down from our top there, four foot six, and that is our windows openings. Next, let's take our rectangle tool. We're going to connect our dots. I'm going to go over here and do the same thing because we're already here inside of our group, so it just saves time. We're going to do the opposite of our measurement, so three feet, six feet, eight foot nine. You'll notice I avoid the center here because for whatever reason, it will not make a guide if I do it from the center. So always kind of do some sort of off, um, off center line. And the last one is 11 foot nine. Rectangle tool, connect my intersections. I messed up, so um, control Z. I have to hit control again to detoggle that setting. Next, we're going to use my push pull tool. I'm going to push the window here. The, my wall, exterior wall, is six inches. So you can either A, type in six inches, or if you push it in far enough, you'll kind of it kind of sticks to the back face there. Click there or I can push it in just a little bit, type in six, hit enter, and that window will disappear. I'll, so six. That's why it's always kind of um, really beneficial to know how, um, how thick your walls are and everything like that. Uh, be aware that if you, um, it won't delete if you push it too far in. So it, it will then go start going out past the, the wall there. And so that will cause issues. Um, also, if, if you don't press, if you don't press that, that window into the wall or you pull it outside the wall and you type in six, it'll pull it outside. And so uh, that won't work either. Once we have this, we're gonna leave our guides up, but we need to right click over here in our opening close component. I need to right click edit component here so now I have my windows here. My measurements here is from the floor. We're going to go up 11 feet 2. And from the ground, we're going to go 15 foot 2. If you're having issues with your roof and, it, and you just um, haven't, it's too far down, you can't see anything. We can right click, edit component, 
use push pull tool and you can just pull this uh, push this up out of the way for now um, and, and we can work on that at a later date so again like before we're going to create our rectangles if you ever have any instance where it's not having an intersection you may want to look at this angle to make sure that all of your guides are on the actual face um, a lot of a lot of times maybe you uh, you started your measurement from an off uh, point um, and that will cause issues so just be aware of that you may want to delete the uh, the guide and try it again to see what's going on but just like we did before six Once you've done one, what you can also do is if I double click, because I already pushed the whistle six inches, it'll also do six inches over here. So that's a shortcut if you're doing uh, sometimes, or sometimes it'll mess up. There we go. So here we can close components. I can erase all my guides. delete guides and turn my section plane back on and I can delete my section plane next actually let's uh, need to turn my section plane back on we forgot one little window at the very back really quick edit group edit component from the back I'm going to set a guide for this window here set a guide for this window here next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the middle our windows were three feet wide, so I'm going to go one foot six, one foot six, and connect this one really quick. I can inference that back window over here. There's another method. Delete my guides. And there we go. Now we can uh, get out of our groups make sure you save this project make sure that I see when you turn this in make sure that everything is visible put in your dimensions for everything Um, put your dimensions for everything and uh, and then submit your your exported PNG um, thank you for watching this episode uh, stay tuned for ne the next episode where we work on our actual windows thank you